More than just a creative hobby, senior Eli Ruhala uses art to communicate his life story with an approach that most would not expect. Art has always allowed me to express myself because it was kind of this uh, language that I've always spoken fluently, if that makes sense, like just like Spanish or some sort of foreign language, but I found it like surprisingly easy to pick up on. My interest in 3D art and installation was spurred from 2D work being too limiting in the sense that I wasn't engaging the viewer, the viewer was looking. It was kind of voyeuristic. People look at a painting and they think it's off limits. Eli's first attempt at 3D artwork has led him to the unique project that utilizes the skills of both construction and interior decorating. For my most recent installation, I have built multiple stud walls and I've gotten so many sheets of drywall and basically what I've done is I've I've done these studies from old family photographs on the sheets of drywall and I've I've destroyed them and, and patched up the stud wall so that it's impartially walled in. Also for the installation I have multiple elements that are domestic surfaces such as like furniture or I painted a door even like I painted a mattress, a blanket, pillows. I really wanted to push that idea of um, a painting and what it could mean. The quality of an artwork can be subject to debate. However, Eli has one fan support who will never waver. We are thrilled to see Eli move past all of these hurtful feelings that we weren't even really aware of. One part of the, that, that installation, um, I, I'm really moved by the window, the window that goes up and down. That he, Eli can think out of the box, like, I'm an artist, but Eli blows everything away that I've ever even thought of doing. So he has love in every single piece. And, and I think that's what I'm most moved with, is the love that's in his heart. And uh, it's really hard to explain because I'm the mother. So I'm the most proud, and I expect to be the most proud of Eli, but everybody's going to see it at this art show. The love in Eli's heart. Though many pieces of artwork come with a do not touch sign, Eli wants viewers to have a more interactive experience with his newest installation. The, the idea with the installation is that people will be scared and then other people will be more interested in the content, more interested in the story behind it. And so those kinds of people will be willing to interact with the work. They'll be more fearless than those who are just worried about the aesthetic of the work. The entire room holds a glimpse into Eli's personal life. However, one space holds more emotions than the rest. The closet space was this kind of idea where I have me in the center in the closet and then my parents on either side almost as these sort of like guardian figures you know but it was kind of a negative connotation because it was about how these guardian figures were kind of keeping me from I guess embracing and talking about my sexuality to my friends and family. It, it goes back to that idea of how um, their divorce kind of created this sort of hesitation for me to open up to people but then the rest of the work you see this shift where I'm actually really talking about you know how grateful I am for my parents and how I just embrace the fact that they have differences and that I love them regardless. This is Hayden McKenzie and Bradley Davis reporting for the Lovejoy News Network.